Finally! Yukiko, are you all right? Oh, thank goodness. You've gone back to your usual self, Yosuke-kun. What? Oh, are you back to normal, too? Huh? But you just seemed so eager to fight no matter how I tried to stop you. You said things like, I was taking the easy way out. I was sure that you just weren't in your right mind. You'll notice that Tere and Risei-chan are acting strange, too, right? I think maybe they're under the enemy's control. Control? Who could make them act that weird? No ordinary person could pull that off. And why would they do it to start a stupid tournament like this? In any case, I'm gonna go put an end to this Grand Prix. If it's just us four, there's only one more battle to go. Oh, and one more thing. There's a student council president. Oh, do you mean the girl with the ponytail? You met her? Mm -hmm. When I talked to her, she said she was going to the announcement room. I tried to stop her, but an invisible wall blocked my path. That girl's in danger. Really? Sorry, I gotta go. I'll end this as fast as I can and come back for you. Oh, okay. Be careful. And try to help out that girl. I'm sure you can do it, Yosuke-kun. Got it.
Miss President! Over here! Over here! Teddy! Damn it, was I too late? President, are you okay? Let go of his hand! That bear's not in his right mind! He's definitely being controlled. doesn't have a persona, how did she get in the TV world? Damn it, I'll save her. What did you do with Miss President? Oh, how nice of you to worry about someone else. You let your guard down in this battle. Come on, bring up the next challenger! Ah, I knew it would be you, and Sister Complex Kingpin, just like the others. Then again, Nanako-chan always was precious to you, so... Yosuke, it's true that this is a battle you have long desired, but I have something I want to say first. A battle I long desired? I thought that there would be no reason for us to fight, until now! Huh? How dare you! Calling your Nanako-chan in that intimate way! Yes, sir! I'm sorry, sir! I'm forgetting Nanako-san for the moment. It seems like there's someone here besides us. She can't use a persona, so I thought maybe she was dropped in here. Uh, you? Why would you forget Nanako? 
That's ridiculous. I mean, come on, Nanako-chan. San really likes you, no matter what. She's always telling me how you're such a nice big brother and how you're so cool. Yosuke, enough. Always talk to Nanako? Why? Where? What do you mean by always? What was the precise date and time when you spoke to her? Oh, crap, I was lying. I'm sorry. What? You were lying? Are you saying that Nanako doesn't like me? That she doesn't think I'm nice or cool at all? Why are you so hung up on that? Uh, for heaven's sake, I'm getting really sick of this crap. So let's just fight. We'll get this over with, okay? And then we can both calm down and talk like rational people. I'm not gonna hold back at all. I know you can take it. Anyway, here goes! <clears throat> Sorry, Nanako-chan. Ha-ha! <laughs> that Nanako-chan! What a dummy, right? That's it! Your life is forfeit! Yosuke, are you back to your usual self? That's my line, damn it! Oh, wait, that's right. Did I seem strange to you? said that it wasn't your partner, so that was a surprise. Like I'd ever say that. Yeah. I 
see. And the reason the midnight channel seemed so clear was because that girl was already in this world? Oh, you're right. I forgot how that worked. Looks like our fears were real. There was a victim already. The question is, who put her in here? Well, I don't know. But whoever came up with this is trying to make us fight each other in the Grand Prix. Maybe they're hoping we'll take each other out since they'd be no match for four Persona users at once. No, it's not just the four of us. Kanji and Naoto are probably in this, too. You saw them on the video, right? If our enemy is hosting this, they've probably been forced to participate as well. Naoto's was something with an IQ of 2,000. Sounds strong. Kanji's was... Um... Beefcake Emperor? No way! I don't want to run into him! You... Can't you go on for me? I'm begging you! You've begged me a number of times already. Can't only the winner move on? Shouldn't be a problem if you win, So if you lose against the Beefcake Emperor, you might be in some trouble. Oh, I don't want to be alone with him! Damn it! Fine, I'll go. This must be what they mean by you have to cover your ass for the worst. You'll be fine. You mean me or my ass? No, I mean about saving that girl. You can definitely do this. It's in your hands now. You. to me, big bro. Uh, I don't think I'm comfortable having you call me that. I'm not saying that you're my big bro. It's just, you were going on and on about Nanako-chan a moment ago, so... Oh, yeah, that wasn't you. Anyway, leave this to me. I'll be going now. You got everything, but you don't Threading it. Ah, Miss Santa, I mean, Yosuke kun. Miss President, booyah! My ass is safe! Of course! Alright then, let's fight. I'll try not to make it hurt too much, but you gotta go down. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Looks like you're enjoying the Grand Prix, Yosuke. Just like I hoped. I held this Grand Prix just for you, after all. I'm glad you like it, Yosuke. I've been saying that from the start, and it doesn't make any sense. 
It's only in this world that you can be serious about anything. Didn't the idea excite you? Wasn't this the first thing you thought when the Midnight Channel came on? Another problem that'll help me change. That wasn't... No enemy. You know that, don't you? That case is over and done with. The days where you could be special are all gone. You lost everything, and you've gone back to your boring, mediocre self again. Since you were having a hard time accepting that, I whipped up this Grand Prix. I'm on your side, Yosuke. That's why I'm hosting this for you. There is no enemy. True. You were so cool, Yosuke. You were stronger than Chie-chan, or Yuki-chan, or even Sensei. You're almost the champion. Don't worry, I'll let you win this one. You're lying! What's wrong? Both of you are acting weird. prepared that girl as a heroine for you. Let's face it, there's no way you'd get fired up enough to win if there wasn't a pretty girl waiting at the end. Prepared? Yosuke-kun? preview on the Midnight Channel was pretty good, huh? It's no surprise since you came up with it. No, that's not true. Shut up, you're, you're being controlled. I'll help you come to your senses. Finally. Teddy, 
Miss President, are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. But what was that all about? Aren't you two friends? to get myself unframed. You should have seen what a manly knight I was when I defeated Kanji along the way. So Kanji's out of the bracket? Phew. I, I mean, if you're not the host here, then who set this up for me? You're saying this Grand Prix is for you? Uh, about that. Um... Senpai, is Teddy with you too? Misha! I'm so glad. Ever since this weird fake Teddy kidnapped me, I've been all alone. The others are fighting each other too! I'm here too! And so is Miss President! Miss President? Oh, you're right! You're right. I do I sense do one sense more, more presence, more presence there. there. Who are you guys talking to? Sorry, I'll explain in a sec. Hey, Risa, are you okay? The one who's been talking over the PA isn't really you, right? Of course not! I'm not that big of a ditz! I'm in the announcement room now. General Teddy was watching me, but he left, so I'm using this chance to contact you guys. Hey, don't do anything reckless, okay? But I can't just sit here and do nothing. Not while you're all being forced to fight. Grand Prix might be related to me. Actually, it might all be my fault. Huh? huh? What? Wh what the? I don't know really who or what that fake Teddy is. But if it 
starts doing this for me, a lot of things start to make sense. Maybe that fake Teddy didn't leave the room, but actually just disappeared? <sighs> Give me a second. I'll search for him. Shadow! That fake Teddy's actually a big shadow! He hasn't disappeared? Wow, the size of this one! I think it might be the shadow of someone who entered the TV. But why is it mimicking Teddy? That's what I can't... Hmm? What's up? Uh, the person next to you, Senpai. Is that Miss President? Something strange about the reading I'm getting off of her. Oh, is it because she's not a Persona user? No, that's not it. I don't know how to describe it. <sighs> Sorry, something's coming. I gotta cut off this chat now. That's fine. Just don't do anything reckless. I'll try to get to the announcement room as fast as I can. I'll be waiting for you. Teddy, wait here. Look after Miss President for me. Gotcha! I'm always up for spending time with a pretty girl like her! Time for that. Sorry, but you can ask Teddy about it. I heard you say just a moment ago that this Grand Prix is for you. In which case, I gotta ask you, as student council president, if you're going to the announcement room, you gotta let me come too. You can explain things to me once we're there. You can't come with me. It's too dangerous. I'm just gonna lay it on the line for you here. That power you saw when we fought is called the Persona. And this is no normal tournament. Be fine. I'm plenty strong, you know. But you can't use a persona. And this isn't a normal school either. Ugh, how can I explain this? I'm the one that said I'm going to the announcement room first. Don't be a copycat. Huh? over the PA bothered me. All that about how I get in the way. As student council president, I gotta have a talk with her about this. Don't let it get to you. It was just a stunt to make the Grand Prix exciting.
Of course it bothers me. I like this school. getaway in the announcement room. Yours, Kakun. All right, you're on. Wait! What about me? I want to go on a date, too. You can't leave me out! Oh, sorry. You lost, so you can't leave. Don't worry, though. We'll be back soon. No! The date slipped through my claws. <laughs> Vice President, Yosuke is a nice, dependable guy. Not as much as me, though. Aw, thanks for looking after me this far. I'm glad to find out you're not the culprit. See ya. Be a good bear, okay? This school. Well, I'm not surprised since you ran for student council president. Good job winning that, by the way. Oh, yeah, what's your name? My name? I mean, I can't call you Miss President forever, right? I guess your name was on the posters around school during elections, but I tend to ignore those. No offense. remember what I was doing before now. Same goes for my name. I completely forgot that I must have a real name too, until you asked me about it. That ain't normal, is it? I wonder why that's happening to me. Uh, it's probably because you've been in here for a long time. You've seen a bunch of other weird things in here, right? Persona and shadow things? What are those? Well, a shadow is another side of you. It's what you're not conscious of, or more like the feelings you didn't want to admit you had. Everyone has a side like that, an ugly part of themselves, and most people hate to admit it exists. But if you accept it, it becomes a persona, a power that can protect you. So you have to accept yourself. I went through that once, but it seems like my shadow's back. Well, I'll just have to accept it again. happening to me? Don't worry, I'm sure you're just in a little bit of shock right now. You 
remember that you're the student council president, right? I'm sure you just need a little help to remember everything else. You think so? <laughs> You've been a real big help, Yosuke-kun. Huh? Me? Did I do something? Mm-hmm. You sure have. Senpai. Are you alright? Where's the shadow? You mean the fake Teddy? He hasn't come back at all. I sense this weird presence, but I don't know what it is. chance to save a pretty girl and become a hero, right, Yosuke? Huh? That's... Yosuke-kun's voice. Hey there, Yosuke. Yosuke-senpai's shadow? You merge back with me. I'll, I'll come out anytime, anytime you start ignoring me. me. I'm, I'm always watching you. I am you, after all. This is a shadow? Yeah, that's right. You're me. You're the weakness in my heart. I admit it. Now get back here. But that's exactly what I mean by ignoring me. You haven't changed at all since then. You just cover up whatever you don't want to see and paper over it. That's why I've returned. I'm not your persona anymore. Don't tell me! Everyone got dragged into it? Yep. Because I wanted a crisis to solve again. Because the case ended and I was bored? You got it. I'm, I'm sure, sure you understand without me having to tell you. I couldn't save Saki-senpai. I didn't want to ever lose someone again. But I still wished for this. Oh. 
सॉरी भाई Is all your desire. Trust me, I know. I am you after all. You're. No matter what weaknesses you might have, we'll never stop liking you. So please, don't deny who you are. Why do you have to get in the way? Here, I finally got in touch with the others. Listen to them. Gotta beat the crap out of it every time. We're all with you, Yosuke. You can rely on me too, you know. Anyone can fall prey to the same troubles and insecurities. It's not just you, Senpai. It's true for all of us. Huh? Naoto, how come you're here? That's, that's well. Who cares why? There's more important stuff at stake here. You won the battle against yourself back then, but you can't do it this time. Yosuke, believe in us. Such an idiot, aren't I? A great A moron. I thought I overcame my weakness and I was done with it for good. Dude, how naive was that, right? What? what? I'm weak. I'll probably always be weak. But that doesn't mean I need to run away. I'll keep fighting my weakness. And I'll do it as many times as it takes, even if that never stops.
final. More Persona, go! Go, Jiraiya! Here! Stay up! Persona, come on! Bingo! Did it, Senpai? That was awesome! About my conversation with my shadow, did you? <laughs> I hijacked the school PA system. Only you saw my shadow last time. Now everyone got to listen in? Ah, oh, so lame. That's not true. You were really cool, Senpai. <laughs> Thanks. Won't my persona... Wait... Something's not right... Yeah. Rise, Miss President, stay close to- <sighs> What the hell?! I can't, I can't believe, believe you've, you've made, made it this far. far. They, they repeatedly suffered the pain of fighting, fighting their friends, but, but they, they still didn't lose heart. heart. to fight against each other. Then maybe they'll understand how I feel. That was your wish, wasn't it? What are you saying? Senpai, get back! The shadow's reacting to Miss President! It was really her shadow! What?
what you wished. So, how did that work out for you? I... They still couldn't understand you. No one can really understand how we feel, can they? I... Come on! How much longer are you going to keep deceiving yourself? Didn't you hear them say you shouldn't ignore who you are? Here, I'll show you your reality. I am a shadow, the true self. That's... that's my face. Well, you must remember now. No, I'm not like that. No, Miss President, calm down. A shadow doesn't just take on your appearance. You look like a twisted version of you to agitate you even more. No! No! It's an illusion. Huh? It's an illusion? Isn't that what you thought when you fought your friends? Your senses were being deceived. Warping what you saw. Twisting what you heard. That's how you made my senpai fight each other. Is that your power? Not just mine. It's actually our power. Isn't that so? Me. I'm human. Robot? No! I'm... I'm human! <laughs> <laughs> you still believe that about yourself? No human can do that. And you know it. No, don't get me wrong. I was just a little surprised. I'm human! Wait, I'm sorry, I...
What the? I didn't sense anything until now. I will. So this is where you were. Another robot girl? You must remember, that is the only way the future will open up to you. You must accept it, no matter how painful it may be. Your true name is fifth generation anti shadow suppression weapon. Labrys. going every day lately. I'm surprised you're sticking to it. <laughs> the body is the temple, you know. I gotta start training now. Now? Oh no, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> well, don't forget to train your brain, too. Uh, yes, mother. Hey there, G.A. John. Did something good happen? Oh, can you tell? Is it what I think it is? You finally caught yourself a boyfriend? Jeez, you always have to bring that up. <laughs> Be careful on your jog.
Did you see the Midnight Channel the other night? Whoa, whoa, wait a sec. Hey, hey, did you just say Midnight Channel? <gasps> um, excuse me? Do you know her? No! I don't know anything! <laughs> Sorry to barge in, but well, I'm kinda interested in the Midnight Channel. I overheard you talking about it, so you mind telling me what you were saying? Um, what was it you told me? I heard that this time it's like a fighting show and that the people on it were fighting each other. Uh, I didn't know who was on it. I couldn't tell anything at all. Huh? But you just said. Well, please excuse us. Come on, let's go. Oh, hey! like me or something? But I've never even met her. I didn't do anything wrong, did I? information or I'll be one lousy police officer. I wonder if it'll start raining before midnight.
why is it back on the air? This is iNews bringing you the headlines for May 2nd. We begin with the hijacking of a domestic flight yesterday morning. At your next, every day, customer appreciation. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Oh, I know. Maybe Yosuke's heard a couple of rumors about this. What's up? Oh, I'm glad you picked up. Are you free to talk right now? Yeah, I just got off work. Didn't I already email you about tomorrow? You deleted it without reading it, didn't you? How stupid do you think I am? Anyway, I heard a sort of disturbing rumor. The Midnight Channel might be back again. Huh? The Midnight Channel? There's no way. Who told you that? An underclassman at our school. I tried to get more details out of her, but she took off in a huge hurry. Dude, you didn't growl at her or anything when you asked her about it, did you? N no I was completely normal. At least I think I was. So anyway, the girl she was with said something about a fighting show. I didn't get any details, but she didn't seem like she was lying. And hey, the forecast says it's gonna rain tonight. Why don't we check it out? Yeah, good call. If this is for real, we can't ignore it. But if it turns out to be a hoax, you better buy me dinner. Hmm. <laughs> Then you owe me steak if it's true. What? Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Hmm. I should call Yukiko too. Oh wait, she might be too busy to pick up. Maybe I really am that stupid. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I'm not interrupting your work, am I? No, it's quite all right. It really is a shame. Give my regards to Senpai and the others, won't you? Will do! Good luck with the job! Keep it up, clouds. This kind of brings back memories. Just five more minutes to go. Yes, powerful foes! The desperate fighting program amongst high school students! A new legend is about to start! Be the manliest of all men! Come on down! Nobody touches his precious Nanako! The sister complex kingpin of steel, Yu Narukami! It's only natural. Wage slave in the boonies by day, hero by night, Captain Rasantamo, Yosuke Hanamura! Everything that bores me has got to go! A spunky dragon with deadly legs, the carnivore who's discarded womanhood, Shie Satunaka! You need to eat more meat! Please escort me to the ring, my prince! 
the unconquerable Snow Black, Yukiko Amagi! I'll finish you in one strike! Blooming roses and bulging muzzles, the blood-curdling beefcake emperor, Kanji Tatsumi! Deep into realms of romance, the body of a child, the brain of a genius, the 2000 IQ killjoy detective, Naoto Shirogane! Is this an army of idiots? Fight! And survive towards the one throne waiting at the end! The P1 Grand Prix, where fierce fights will be fought! The battle begins tonight! That's a good girl. Calm down. Hey, don't treat me like a rabid animal! Well, just think about how I feel. That Captain Ressentiment part isn't too cool. Ah, let's ignore that for now. Look, there's something that bothered me about what we just saw. Teddy was in that video, and he looked like he's hosting the whole thing. Huh, really? Plus, he hasn't come home yet. He's not picking up his cell either. What? Can you call Yukiko? I'll try and contact the others. I'm gonna hang up now, but I'll call back in about 30 minutes, okay? Got it. Huh? Risei-chan's gone missing? Yeah, her manager called the Amagi in to ask if I knew anything. Could it be related to the Midnight Channel? I don't know about that, but... Too. His mom told me that he was sleeping in the living room, but then he disappeared. Then Teddy, Rize-chan, and Kanji-kun... Yeah, this might be serious. I'll see you at the food court tomorrow. Please be okay.
Yukiko, you're early! Good morning, Chie. I couldn't stop thinking about things, so I wrapped up my shift at the inn early and came here. I actually made a boxed lunch for everyone. Let's eat it together later. Wow, a boxed lunch? You made it? Don't worry, I made sure to taste test it first so it won't be like last year. I think. Well, you've got a point. We don't want people to keep calling us poison chefs, do we? Ooh, that does smell really good. Oh man, I can't wait to try it. Hey there, sorry I'm late. I ran into this guy at the elevator. Good to see you guys again. Welcome back! The guest of honor is finally here! You're looking well. Welcome back. Um, should we... Huh? Oh, he already knows about the Midnight Channel thing. He's actually the one who called me up about it. Oh, I see. This has turned into a pretty thrown-together reunion, hasn't it? But I'm glad you came. It sucks that we can't hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the Midnight Channel going back on the air last night. Oh, the team is back! Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Yeah, let's do this! Uh, I don't think the applause is necessary. Well, let's get cracking. I mean, this is no laughing matter. No one's heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Rise. Just those three, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a hold of Naoto-kun, but I didn't tell her about this stuff. She told me she couldn't make it today because of her job, so I didn't want to worry her. She seemed pretty bummed that she couldn't be here, too. Yeah, going by the pattern from last year, it wouldn't be that clear until after the victim entered the TV. Hey, isn't this the first time a big group of people was shown together? Plus, we're still here. Why us anyway? And what's up with those insulting descriptions?
What bothers me most is Teddy. He was acting like the host of that show. Yeah, and we can't find it. This smells fishy. Then again, I doubt you would play a prank like this for no reason. I guess we'll just have to go inside the TV and find out what's going on. Won't we be stuck in there without Teddy to give us an exit? Uh-huh, not so. I've had Teddy keep the exit TV out on that side. Look at you, all prepared. I mean, think about it. What if we were half asleep and fell into a TV when Teddy wasn't over there? Isn't that a scary thought? Like anyone would be that clumsy. Anyway, it sounds like it's safe for us to go investigate them. Yeah, there's no doubt that something's going on in there. Is everyone ready? We're all good to go. To tell the truth, I had a hunch that this was going to happen. Yukiko, it'll be all right. You don't need to scrunch up your face. Uh, was I doing that? Yeah, you're gonna give yourself wrinkles. Uh, I'll be more careful. Don't worry, things are different from the way they were last year. We are old pros at this. It's a holiday, so the store's full of people. I feel like things are picking up around town. It's time to go. Hello, all the models are on sale right now. You know, it's been a while since last time. I'm a little nervous. Get ready! Huh? The customers are going Thanks. away! Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's go! Yeah! yeah. Thank <laughs> you.